What if I told you that the Homo sapiens, Homo habilis, and Homo erectus aren't the only human species to have led to humankind today? Actually, there are about a dozen other human species that didn't make it to science books that contributed to how we're built today. Not only that, but their names will have you twisting and biting your tongue so many times. Care to know which extinct species you were never supposed to learn about? Number 12. Australopithecus afarensis If you ever wondered when mankind learned to walk on two feet, it was probably about 3.7 million years ago, as suggested from the remains of a fossil named Lucy, a female from the Australopithecus afarensis species of humankind, that mastered how to walk before they understood the dynamics of work. This was even before they mastered how to efficiently use their brains to reason and solve problems. This wasn't a bad thing at all. They stood up tall, meaning they could spot predators from afar, and use one or both pairs of limbs to run away from them. This led to the Australopithecus afarensis being able to live another day to experience the beauty of evolution. Number 11. Kenyanthropus platyops Another extinct species whose name you've never heard of anywhere else is the Kenyanthropus platyops. The fossil remains of this rather mysterious species were discovered along Lake Tanganyika in Kenya by a science expedition team led by Meave Leakey. It has a flat face and small brain capacity. By then, it primarily used only two feet to walk. The only other known fact is that the species coexisted well with Lucy's species mentioned in our previous feature of Australopithecus afarensis mostly because they didn't eat the same diet, so there wasn't any competition for food amongst them. Number 10. Paranthropus bose Paranthropus bose was for a long time termed the toolmaker. For a while now, paleontologists kept discovering tools but couldn't really pinpoint who had made them. Until one day, they discovered a fossil that suggested that humankind had adapted into a more resourceful person. As they crafted tools from bones and stones to help ease the burden of day-to-day -day work. Additionally, the skull retrieved from the species shows that it was bigger, and the skull can't be compared to other species they had discovered, proving to them that indeed the Bose's brain had grown to a larger capacity. They also noticed that their teeth were a little different from the other previous findings. As a result, a more diversified diet. Number 9. The Hobbit The name Hobbit is actually the nickname given to the species Homo florensiensis. It was given the name because of how short it supposedly was and not because it had some kind of mysterious magical powers. It's indigenous to the island of Flores and was probably the smallest of human species ever discovered and only standing at 106 centimeters tall. Since it has such a small physique, you'd expect everything else about its body to be tiny, except that the hobbit had very large feet compared to its size. This only stirred up further debates on whether it was or wasn't suffering from dwarfism. Even with its small stature, it still worked well to make ends meet by providing shelter, food, and protection to its young for a very long time. Number 8. Heidelberg Man the Heidelberg Man is used as a simple name to refer to the Homo heidelbergensis for those who find tongue twisters to be a mouthful. The species of humans is the one supposed to have been the missing link between the separation of the Homo sapiens and the Neanderthals. Just to elaborate, Homo sapiens were more hunter and gatherers, while Neanderthals were farmers. During the Heidelberg Man's era, the people learned how to hunt better and settled down into community structures. Not only that, they also learned how to control fire, which was a big step up from their predecessors. Another important change the Heidelberg Man made was a change of the environment, as he was more adapted to living in cooler temperatures in places such as Europe and Asia. This explains their hair appearance, as they need as much hair as they could get to survive in such extreme conditions. Number 7. Java Man Unlike the name may suggest, 
Java Man wasn't the one who discovered coffee, as far as we can tell. Instead, the name Java is derived from where these human ape fossils were discovered, which was East Java. This was a relief to many scientists who sought to find this missing link between man and ape. The Java Man at Anthropothecus erectus was a clear indication that the ape did transform into a man. His physical features were more of half ape, half human, with a strong skull, shortened forehead, and no chin. If you minus all the hair on his body, he did look a lot like a human today. On top of that, he was progressive despite his primitive lifestyle, where he curbed out hunting tools from stones and even forged zigzag patterns to engrave them as their own. Number 6. Demonacy Man Homo Gorgeous is the rightful scientific name one should use to refer to the Demonacy Man in an official setting. The fossils were discovered in early 1990 at a secluded location called Demonacy. There have only been about five fossils discovered of this species. They broke all norms concerning brain capacity and ability to use and make tools as they displayed a minute brain compared to the human species that were more conservant with the art of craftsmanship. The reduced IQ didn't stop him from using the tools and even bettering them to suit his needs. Number 5. Red Deer Cave People More than a million years ago, existed the Red Deer Cave People. Proof that this ancient species actually walked the earth was a thigh bone retrieved in ancient Asia. It's beyond any reasonable doubt that this hybrid existed long before the human species. They assumed the name Red Deer People because of their culture practice of coating their skin in red paint and feeding on giant deer inside the caves. They went into extinction more than a thousand years ago, but until today, you can still hear their name echoing in the mouths of many people. They're a significant representation of the cradle of mankind long before we developed into modern man. Number 4. Homo Nality Many like to throw the evolution theory out the window. I guess their perspective will change after meeting the Homo Nality, who's the nearest representation of the human species. The discovery of this extinct human species marked a unique finding in the paleontology world. It was a jackpot after retrieving more than 10 intact remains of the Homo nality. They were much furrier but had a human-like face. The curved fingers and well-defined toe features are close replicas to ours. This information was only possible after gallant men braved the rocky surface to crawl down a narrow space in the Donality Chamber. We should give thanks to the team of scientists that assembled in Jonasburg to reveal this extinct humanoid species to us. If not for them, I doubt we'd have ever known about them. Number 3. Neanderthals Unlike the normal view of people who consider the Neanderthal as primitive cavemen, science proves that they were actually more advanced than we think. The species that existed more than 400,000 years ago are the closest relative to mankind. Neanderthals might have gone extinct, but they sure left a vivid imprint of their existence on the phase of the Earth. Despite existing in a world without civilization, they practiced burying their fallen and beautifying their graves with flowers. Another significant trait is their unique face with a highly rigid nose hanging on the weirdly rounded face. If it wasn't for this excerpt, most of us would have never crossed paths with this phenomenal historic human species who left numerous artistic paintings in the caves in Paris. Next time you're visiting the City of Love, don't miss out on checking out the cool artifacts firsthand. Number 2. Homo Denisova Until very recently, we all believed that only the Homo sapiens ruled the world. A close cousin of the human race named Homo Denisova was brought to light after findings retrieved in a cave in Siberia. A mural was found deep in the cave, and it didn't match Neanderthals that existed around the same time. As a matter of fact, it's believed that the early man cohabitated with both the Neanderthals and the Denisova. This species remains a mystery, with little to no information about it. Only a tooth and a finger have turned up as evidence of this extinct species. Scientists are working day and night to get to know more about these close relatives of ours. 
Number 1. Pengu Man From the name Pengu, you can guess where the fossil of the Lenk Man originates from. If you guess Taiwan, then you're absolutely right. But if you guess something else, be sure you aren't alone in that group. Back to the Pengu Man. The jaw of this fossil was accidentally discovered on a fishing trip by fishermen. Strangely, the jaw was massive in size, suggesting that it was a massive beam. For a long time, scientists couldn't explain why the pangu had massive teeth, nor could they correctly list its diet. Since it was a long time ago, we'd expect that the archaeologists had come up with something for us by now. They're still digging in the ground to find answers. Until next time, adios.